Hello traders, it's Wednesday, February 8th, and here is our New York review. U.S. stocks continue to display strength on Tuesday as the three major Wall Street indexes all gained. While investors have been cautious, they remain in what appears to be a risk-taking mode. Trade balance numbers were released yesterday in the States and came in near expectations. Tomorrow, the weekly unemployment claims data will be issued, and on Friday, an important preliminary consumer sentiment reading will come from the University of Michigan. Trading sentiment in the U.S. is still under the microscope, but it appears investors may be poised to continue their bull run on Wall Street. Asian markets started the day with tentative trading in Japan and China in the equities, but as the day put in its final tallies, the Nikkei and Topix indexes, along with the Shanghai Shenzhen and Hang Seng Composites, put in rather solid gains. Economic data from Japan was disappointing early Wednesday. Among the lackluster reports were bank lending and the economic watcher's sentiment. The yen has remained in its stronger range against the U.S. dollar and should be watched carefully this afternoon for a potential reversal. Machine tool order statistics will come from Japan tomorrow. European equities opened with gain this morning on the DAX and the FTSE. There will be no major economic data from the European Union or the U.K. today. However, the political sphere is full of intrigue as the French election for president continues to grow closer and Brexit concerns remain firmly in place. The euro and pound have seen a test of their range the past day. German trade balance numbers will be published tomorrow. Crude oil has remained under pressure this morning as traders are starting to sell because of reports that U.S. producers are getting ready to increase productions. Gold has continued to see swift trading and is testing important resistance levels. Both crude oil and gold should be watched for volatility today. Commodity traders will pay keen attention to the U.S. crude oil inventories report being published at 1.30 GMT. Thank you for watching. Have a great trading day. We'll see you again soon.